spinal cards. So we're going to find a position on the floor on our hands and knees, creating right angles from our wrists to our shoulder, hips to our knees. I want you to start in a fully flexed cat position. So chin under, pelvis under, back up to the roof. We're going to unfurl the spine one vertebrae at a time from the base of our spine all the way through to the mid spine, through the thoracic, up towards the neck and the head coming up is the very last thing. Again, starting the rotation from the base of the spine, tuck the pelvis under. Imagine someone is pressing each vertebrae one by one to separate them all as you flex. Again, starting base of the spine, one by one, trying to separate not only the lumbar and the thoracic and the cervical spine, but each vertebrae one by one, slowly coming in, dropping the head down and back to the starting point again from the base of the spine. Try and pull further towards the floor as you come into this position. And as you pull back, again, pulling right up towards the roof and the head comes down. So each rep you do, trying to push further into flexion and extension, making sure you're still creating a lot of tension through the hands, up through the shoulders. The body is using a lot of force to pull and push into these positions, separating the bones one by one each time. Try and get that nice wave through your spine. You wanna visualize the ability of each part of your vertebrae having the range of motion to flex and extend independently. So making that nice wave, last one, pulling up to the roof. That is your spinal cast.